Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you man, Twitter the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Lust Shards. I didn't have time to film a fourth video today, so I'm doing Lust Shards because it gets lots of views and y'all love it and I love it too. So I'm getting mixed signals from y'all about whether to accept or decline. Um, some of you are saying that if I don't accept, Dallin won't like it. And some of you are saying if I do decline, then Dallin will like it. So you know what? We're just going to test that right now on stream. Anyway, y'all, sit back and enjoy. What the next 16 minutes will entertain you. Let's jump right in. Alarm Chan, you are up. And let's go. All right. The question stands. Do I have to go, do I go have some action in the back or stay here with these two? Let's decline and see what happens. Uh, let's accept. F it. I'm not, spending a, I'm not spending a moment longer having this conversation. I turn off the water. Dallin, hand me a towel, please. Here you go. I dry myself up and put it around my waist. I think I'll wait for you outside, Dallin. Nice meeting you. Uh, Bean. All right, see you when I'm done. So tell me more about your worldview, Bean. It all started when they dropped me in the soup bowl at a frat party. Um. Huh. I'm out. Uh, I'm curious about this. Mysterious man wanting to fuck me? Here I come. Can't believe you have the guts to do this. Yeah, well, I have my needs. And if the opportunity is here, why not take it? Besides, it'll be super quick. I didn't even bother to put clothes on. I'm just gonna drop this towel and let whoever wants a piece of me have it. Ooh, kinky. These plans are more and more to my liking. But it'd be even better if you weren't such a bottom. I go outside. I feel the, e I feel the evening chill of the... Even if the sun is still up. Might be because my fur is not completely dry and I'm almost naked. The back of the gym was not really a sight to be in to be in woe by. A big slip of dirt and grass blocked the view from one direction. The gym itself from the other and some empty dumpsters along with old and broken gym equipment from the sides. Basically, this is the perfect place for a quickie. But not the most romantic one. I'm here to vent my frustrations and get rid of this lust I accumulated. H Hello? I got your note, so I'm here. No response. What if it really was a joke? What if the note wasn't even for you? What if you took too long and the guy got bored and left? What if... I get it! I have anxiety. I don't need another voice listing all the insecurities I have. I lean on the wall, adjusting my towel. I'll just stay here and enjoy the fresh air if nobody comes. The fresh air by the dumpster? Okay. It is what it is. I'm glad you decided to show up. A new sinister raspy voice makes my heart skip a beat. But from happiness and nervous chills... I turn my head towards the voice and... Nobody's there. Um... Yeah. I'm here. And you are? Hello? Ugh! Jesus Christ! I stumble and fall back. My towel's miraculously still standing strong, but I better not spread my legs for obvious reasons. Someone or... Something? Is in front of me. My first thought is that somebody with a mask on. Anonymous sexes are not unheard of. But there doesn't seem to be a muzzle underneath the mask. It stays almost flat on the face uniformly, a black void hole being the center of attention. Its body was normal at first glance, but the more I stared, the more I realized how wrong the proportions really were. With the bloody claws, wild mane, and ambiguous species. Are you here to have sex, perhaps? His claws suddenly grow in size until they touch the ground, resembling sharp swords. I'll take that as a no. He winds up his new claws, ready to strike. Is this really how I die? I didn't even get to tell my crush how I like him. I managed to scramble up to my feet and dodge the first blow. My way is blocked by all the crap mentioned earlier. Fucking hell! It's a great place to fucking privacy, but also to die without witnesses. But let me tell you something. I am not dying naked. This is actually so funny. Don't laugh. Help me! Fine, fine. I'll kill him for you. Nobody's around anyway. Let's see. Disintegration? Decapitation? Ooh, maybe death by a thousand cuts. You have to check if he can scream first. We're kind of running out of time, Scribbles. Fine, fine. A nuke it is. Yeah. Before either Scribbles or the Thing manage to kill each other, the back door swings open and an angry down and underwear shows up to the rescue. And Bean is right behind me. Right behind him, of course. You, you've yeed your last haul, partner. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself, Bean. My savior arrived. I'm almost crying tears of happiness. You weren't in any real danger anyway. You have me. But you don't have a smoking hot body that's almost naked. Touché. A box of magic light appears around the monster. Stand back, Travis. I'll crush this Nightfallen, but it'll be a bit messy. A Nightfallen? You couldn't tell? You really need training. The Nightfallen tries to cut his way out, but the cage is too strong, as it slowly becomes smaller and smaller. Yeah, Dallin! You got this! 
Wait, Dallin. Stop, stop, stop! I give up. Uncle, uncle. Uh, to our sur to our surprise, it started talking. You're sentient? Your pleas for mercy are futile, beast. Actually, they are very effective. I'm not going to kill someone with the will of their own. Oh. The atmosphere suddenly became way lighter. Dallin's mere presence is enough for, to know for sure that it will be okay. Dallin lets go of him. Phew, thank goodness. I thought I was a goner. I was never told about the cruel, unforgiving one called Bean. I was only warned about the one called Dallin, the powerful but naive and merciful. Thank you for not killing me. Bye. No. Hey! Stop right there. Yes? Explain yourself. How did you get past the barrier? And what is your business here? And why did you try to kill me? Even saying this, I can't help but notice how goofy the Nightfallen's mannerisms are when he's not in, ho not in a homicidal mode. He seems like a real person. A very weird person. I'm just here for the ride. Bean, I think you should go. We got this. Nah, man, I feel like a superhero. I want to be part of this. Suit yourself. Now. You, Nightfallen. Answer my questions. First of all, I have a name. It is, it's unknown. Unknown? Is that your actual name, or are you saying nobody knows your name? I... I'm gonna have to ask my master about it. There, that! Who is your master? I work alone. You just said you have a master. Fine, I do. But my master does not concern you. Let's move on. I could slap him with my tail to make him talk. It's pretty heavy, especially after soaking in all that steam. I was prepared for torture all my life. But I've never heard of this tail method. Are you sweating? N no, th this is courage juice. Dear worst bloodthirsty crimson demon. That won't be necessary, Bean. We shouldn't use violence. Unknown visibly relaxes. Now, how did you get here? I'm assuming if you have a master, you must be a summon. No, my master brought me here. But my body is still mine. Master brought me through the barrier. And your purpose was to kill Travis? No. If I didn't dodge your claws, I would have been dead. So that's not exactly true. I'm not lying. I was ordered to have sex with you and kidnap you. But I got confused and a little nervous. So your alternative to sex is murder? Isn't that what you do to all failed dates? A murderous nightfall and is punished by death. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm learning so much. Master never bothered to teach me or name me, apparently. I usually eat ice cream by myself and cry when my date doesn't show up. What is this ice cream you're talking about? Sounds cool. It's very cool. Frozen, even. You ever had ice cream before? We should go sometime. There's this place. Bean, please stop flirting with the enemy. I'm just being friendly. Everyone deserves a taste of ice cream. He's right. Whose side are you on? The almighty furry red man is showing mercy. Please don't interrupt him. Let's rewind. You were supposed to have sex with Travis? He didn't consent. Does that mean you would have forced him into it? No, no, but he did consent. That's why he's here. He accepted my note. I can vouch for that. Shut the fuck up, Bean! Note? Travis? Is that true? Well... Perhaps. <laughs> you might want to reconsider your priorities. What do we do with him? I feel like... I feel like being this Travis formed enough of a bond that I'm not nervous anymore. If he'd be so kind as to leave, we two will restart our sex session. Uh, no chance. What? You can't just leave a knight fallen in need. Tough luck, then. So what am I supposed to do? I failed the mug and murder attempt. Uh, sex and kidnap? Same things. And I'm going back to my master, not only empty-handed with a raging boner. This is a death sentence. You can tell us who your master is and we'll protect you. That's not how it works, Travis. We can't protect the Nightfallen. If his master exposes him, he's as good as dead. Dude, I have an idea. I'm all ears, your highness. There's this thing in our town where cars are not allowed. Which is bonkers, my dude, seriously. I mean, we have a 0% car accident rate, but they're taking our fun for it. But if you're not one with your Nightfallen powers and... But if you got one with your Nightfallen powers and drove around... I bet you could get a lot of guys like these two to sleep with you. I... I don't, don't, know what, don't know what a car is. With the action of drove. But I like your funny ideas, Red Cruel Man. 
I've decided. You shall suffice. Come with me, little one. I know a good place to do it. Sick! I won! I'd love to hang out with you. You seem like a great guy. What kind of place are we talking about, and do what exactly? Oh, you'll love it. I got toys and costumes. Toys like video games? And cosplay costumes? Um, yes. Sounds cool. I'm totally in. No, no, hang on. Bean, he just wants to have sex with you. It's all a ploy. Ah, oh, nah, man. Sorry, I like women. Hmm. What if you do it with a chick I know when I, know when I watch? That's more like it. Is she hot? She melts mortals' eyes for a living. Awesome! Then come, small fuzzy red thing. Call me Beanie. Understood, Lord Beanie. Oh! We have to get ice cream on the way. Sounds delightful. The two walk away, talking in a very natural way. Like long-lost friends. We walk back inside, a little flabbergasted. We just turned those two into best buddies, didn't we? Yep. But is it wise to let a Nightfallen go? The law says we're not allowed to kill Nightfallen that are capable of coherent speech, so we had no choice. He seemed kind of nice after he decided not to kill me. We aren't telling him about this, right? Maybe just Aiden. He's trustworthy enough. And there's no way we're keeping this from Tate. Understandable. Let's hope Bean doesn't spill the beans. Down looks at me with a smirk. All I can do is groan at his awful joke. But someone else found it hysterical. <laughs> the beans. <laughs> that was a good one. I kind of like him. Finally, Dallin gets to take out that shower, and I get to put my hand, I get to put my pants back on. When we're done and ready, we start walking back to the academy. The evening sun setting slowly. The workout we did in this near-death experience left me kind of fatigued. Not to mention the tiring conversation I had with Bean. I liked Bean. He had some kind of charm to him. Duh, if he managed to befriend a Nightfallen. I think it's time you get familiar with the Academy's cafeteria as well. I, for one, am starving. The adrenaline faded, so now I feel my hunger as well. I'd kill for a chicken sandwich. I'd break a rule for ten sandwiches. Wow, that's serious, and we must hurry. We arrive at dinner fairly quick. The tables are the tables already started to fill, but we notice two familiar figures waving at us with a table reserved. Travis! Mm. Travis, Travis! Come here! Sit next to me! Hey guys, how's your day been? Still stuck in detention, as you may recall. Oh, right. Me and Travis had so much fun, I completely forgot about detention. Salt to the wound. What did you end up doing after practice? Uh, we went to the gym and met some questionable people. Ish. I is that it? And then I'm glad I stayed in detention. Isn't that right, Aiden? Aiden is almost smiling back in response, which is not something that happens when Tate is around. I guess they really didn't get bored. Aiden got us a TV in detention with a DVD. With his pocket magic. Ah, so that's how it is. Tate gets a slap in the Tate gets a slap in the back of the head, but not as hard as I would have expected. Stupid. Don't worry, I'm not going to forbid you two from having fun. I know staying in a room for hours can get tiresome. Speaking of tiresome, I realize now sitting down that sleepiness is creeping up on me. The cat's frantic movements are the ones that keep me on my toes, as he keeps grabbing my shoulders and hugging me as he talks. Hey, Travis, are you alright? I'm just tired and hungry. Well, duh! You don't go to the gym, it makes you tired. Everyone knows that. But getting tired and sweating are the recipe for success. You can sweat and get tired from fun things, too. If we were to go on that adventure I proposed yesterday, you would know that, Travis. You two stay here. Me and Aiden will bring food for the table. Great! Just don't bring any fish. Aiden seems a little tired as well, so he leans on my arm and purrs silently. Well, those macho heads aren't here to distract you. I have good news. I came out with the, I came out with the perfect idea to make you stronger. It's not a sacrifice, is it? No, I'm still working on that plan. Awesome! So what is it? All you need to do is wait for nightfall. Oh no. It's not illegal, is it? It'd be best if nobody found out. But I don't know all your laws, so I can't say. As long as we're not killing anyone. I guess I'm fine. I'll explain more in detail later. The waiting game has begun. The guys come back with a variety of food. I'm not even sure what I have in my hands right now, but it tastes good. A conversation topic is in need, is in need right now. Maybe I should ask them some personal questions. At least the ones I have deeper connection with. Ask each of them a personal question if I have points for them. Aiden? Tate? Hmm? Sup? Can I ask, what was Dallin like in his first year, first few years here? 
Why are you asking them? I'm right here. I want a third party's opinion. Nothing personal. Oh boy. Aiden, he doesn't know. I think he doesn't know. Do you think he knows? He definitely doesn't know. Just tell me already. Um, does anyone want dessert? Nobody other than you can eat dessert after all the food we brought back. Travis, you said you were tired, right? Not tired enough to miss this. Spill the tea. For starters, let's just say our little wolf wasn't always the smiling idol he is now. Idol? He and Chelsea were a menace on this campus. Bigger troublemakers than Tate. Yeah! They used to bully me! What? Dallin is blushing with shame. Oh my god. We were just teasing. Besides, I tried to stop Chelsea from putting that spider in your mouth. I can still feel his tiny legs crawl inside my mouth! She have braces. That's adorable. I will never forget it. But it's fine. We're friends now. Tate hugs down with one arm and Aiden with the other. Aiden doesn't look very happy about it, but doesn't pull away either. Yeah. When I first arrived here, Dallin was a second year, together with Chelsea. We, the first, we, the first years, were in a sex ed lesson when we're, where we were going to practice dominant female on male penetration. Nice. We found out after it ended that a certain someone poked holes in the condoms. He glares at Dallin while he hides his face in his palms, red as a beet. Oh no. Alright, I'm gonna pause it right there. Oh my god. Did you cause people to get pregnant? You son of a bitch. Anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks for a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.